pals. This week on Go With The Heat, we talk about Season 1, Episode 22 of Miami Vice, titled Evan. On this week in Vice, we'll be taking a look at when this episode aired and the entire month that passed between episodes, from April 1st to May 5th, 1985, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on April 23rd, Coca-Cola introduced New Coke and is widely considered to be one of the biggest blunders in brand history. The new formulation received immediate backlash and announced the return of Coke Classic in just three months. The hostile response and decline in sales has influenced business and popular culture in the last 30 years. New Coke would be rebranded as Coke 2 and would be available into the 90s. On May 1st, President Reagan declared a trade embargo against Nicaragua, stating, quote, find that the policies and actions of the government of Nicaragua constitute an unusual and extraordinary threat to the national security and foreign policy of the United States. The declaration may have been stoked by fears of Nicaragua's ties with, with Cuba and the Soviet Union. The embargo would eventually be lifted by President George H.W. Bush in March 1990. In music, replacing Phil Collins at the top of the Hot 100 is the supergroup USA for Africa and the charity song We Are the World. Written by Michael Jackson and Lionel Richie, We Are the World became the fastest-selling pop song in American history. The song included over 20 soloists and 50 total musicians contributing to the song. We Are the World became a politically important song, raising awareness for the humanitarian efforts in Africa. After four weeks at the top, Police Academy 2 finally gives up the top spot. For one week, the Burt Reynolds crime story, Stick, held the box office, giving way to Code of Silence. As a huge fan of 80s action flicks, Code of Silence doesn't disappoint, starring Chuck Norris and a Miami Vice staple, Dennis Farina, which is great timing, as in the next episode of Go With The Heat, we'll be diving into the season finale of Miami Vice titled Lombard, starring Dennis Farina. This movie is a departure from the normal Chuck Norris film, having no martial arts, but doesn't stray far from its 80s roots as the movie includes a crime-fighting robot named Prowler. And that's everything you need to know this week in Vice. Although there was quite a gap between Miami Vice episodes in 1985, the season ends with two classic episodes. I hope you enjoyed this week in Vice. Be sure to subscribe to the show or our main Miami Vice show, Go With The Heat. See all the ways to subscribe at GoWithTheHeat.com. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.